Okay, so welcome back to another gameplay video. And uh, in this one, we're going to be playing with Sassuolo. And Sassuolo are coming off like a 5 2 win at the San Siro against Milan. So I figured, why not try them out? Uh, we're going to be continuing and finishing our season in Division 1. What we need to do, we need to win two matches out of four to keep our spot in Division 1. So let's jump into the tactical screen and take a look at how this team is set up and what the tactical instructions are. And as you saw in the first screen, we are playing a 4-3-3 with wingers. And the defensive style is going to be press after possession loss. We have a 50 width, 60 depth. We're going to have a slow build up with possession with a 60 width and 5 in the box. 3 on corners and 3 on free kicks. So usually I do these kind of gameplay videos using the default starting 11 and default tactics. But I'm going to make some changes to the lineup here because you see Domenico Berardi is not in the lineup and he's in green form and we want as many players in green form as possible. So I'm going to do some substitutions here. We're going to get Berardi into the lineup. Also Traore is probably going to get into the lineup as well. Also I think De Frel should probably at least be on the bench. So let me do some changes and we'll take a look at the starting 11 that I'm going to use. Three hours later... Okay, so I just kept it si super simple there. I inserted Berardi at right wing and Traore at left wing. And then I put De Frel on the bench so he can come on in the second half, I'm thinking, as a substitute for Pinamonti. Other than that, the entire team is uh, unchanged. So here we go. Let's jump into the first match and see how it works. Okay, so Monaco is going to be the first opponent. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oi, 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 that's close. Oh, I forgot to change my camera. Ah, uh, Pinamonti? Yeah. <clears throat> 
I know we are not supposed to do the like the direct pass because we're doing slow build up, but I just had to try it there. Too slow to accelerate. I do the shooting feint and then it takes forever to get started on the on the basically the run. Oops, close. Fratesi. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that was so horrible. Everything about that attack was uh, not ideal, to say the least. No. No. <laughs> what? At least I feel like the team is a little bit more stable. If you watched the previous uh, stream I did, the previous video with Atalanta, it was absolutely horrible. I feel like this team is a little bit more, has a little bit more stability.
Bruins taking it with the goalie. I mean, sending the goalie out there. What am I doing to like to make these uh, opponents just send the goalie out? Not taking it seriously. You know what I mean? So this guy has the momentum now. I, I had the momentum in the beginning of the half when we were able to win every ball and do the high press. But now it's turned around like the second half momentum switch. So now this guy is going to get it a little bit easier. So we need to really, really st uh, step it up here if we're going to create some chances and avoid the second goal against. No. 
normally I would do the cutback pass there, but I, I could see his defender was covering the passing lane perfectly. So I didn't want to try to risk it. It's just your typical you know, late second half. The team that's that's behind is gonna be tired. I just missed a huge chance. So the opponent is gonna get a like a super simple counter-attacking chance. It is what it is. Look at the speed of Kiriakou, Kiriakopoulos. And when I say speed, I mean the total lack of it. It's a little bit funny though, you get he gets the chance by just running through with the script defense. But he's not able to score. He does like the typical like mid-power high shot. It's funny how the script works with you sometimes and then at the next second it doesn't work with you anyway. It's difficult to defend this goal because Ben Yedder has that separation from the defense. And you're not gonna catch up to Ben Yedder after he gets that separation. So we start by losing the first match. We still need to win two out of three. Okay, second match against Fenerbahce. No, no. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Don't you bullet. Ay, 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 close.
No way that pass, man. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. No, stop it with the stupid goals against them. Like, it's a, like one tackle from him. He gets like the perfect tackle assist pass in this course. It's like the perfect example of like the, <clears throat> the average goal I'm conceding in every single match. Pisses me off when you're not able to defend like a simple corky glitch. Take that glitch. Wow, that is a great tackle, man. Probably just out of frustration, it does that slide tackle, but it's a great tackle. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's go for a banger. Holy moly. It was a weak banger.
Oh, les smokes. Wow. What am I thinking? Second half momentum switch here. He has a lot of extra energy. I feel like I have the game pretty much under control. Uh, seems like this guy is uh, basically only trying to rely on his attackers to create things, and is not able to build anything for, like build up properly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No. Okay, here you see the momentum switch in full effect. 
Yeah. Check out the momentum switch right there. These players are going to be extremely energetic. Oof, 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 oof. No, 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 no. Look at that deflection, man. Uh oh. He's getting the deflections. Need to be careful. No, man. Okay, we hang on for the win. So we still have two chances to get that one more win that we need to keep our spot. So even though we only need one more win in two matches, we are still projected to relegate, which is a little bit interesting, I guess. I guess it's purely mathematical. Based on the performance so far this season with three wins, two draws and three losses. But I think we're going to make it. If we face another one of these guys, uh, we're going to get the win we need. So let's jump to the third game. Okay, we face Al-Hilal. So Al-Hilal is four of uh, Saudi Arabia's... One of four best teams in Saudi Arabia. We have like uh, four teams that are three and a half stars, I think. Al-Hilal is one of them. This, you get it on target now. Hey! Uh oh. We have Marega, Odion Igalo. Oh!
<laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Ah, careful, careful, careful. What? Sometimes I don't understand what, what happens. Probably I'm pressing some kind of button that triggers the weird thing that's happening, but... Uh, not always. No, 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 no. Goldie, Goldie! Oi, 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 oi. That's a nice ship. That's a very nice reaction finish. He sees the goalie coming out, so he tries to chip him. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, let's go. No. Oh, the ball, man. Go for the ball. <laughs> the ball is right there. That was hilarious. I was aiming for the ball. The ball was like, and you can see like the game changed the direction of Maxime to just barge into the player. <laughs> I mean, it's a literal, it's a clear path to the ball. You just tackle the ball, man. Wow, we have a huge chance here. Let's go. Can we take advantage? Oh my... My god, man. No. Careful, careful, man.
Hey. Come on. Uh oh. No. 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 We hang on. Oh my god, that's a poor finish. No, mom. Oof. Hey. No. No. 
I know I'm leading 4-0 and I can see that uh, that goal there and it still annoys me. Offside? Yeah. Wow. A nice goal, Al Davsari. Basically, a carbon copy of the of the World Cup goal he scored against Argentina. Pretty much. So this is going to secure our spot and it's going to be the final game of the, of the video because we can't play any more games. They will basically force you to restart the season whenever you are out of contention or have cleared the relegation spot. So Pinamonti scores 3, we finish with a pretty good performance I feel like. Um, if I was to compare Sassuolo to Atalanta who we played with in the previous video I would say Sassuolo, it feels definitely easier to play with than Atalanta. And that is because one thing is the tactic is a little bit more stable. It's not as risky as Atalanta's tactics. And you're also going to face uh, lower quality teams because this is a four-star team. Also in combination with when you play with Atalanta, four and a half star team, you're going to face tougher opponents and it's going to be more difficult tactics to to try to um, to master so it's like double difficult to play with Atalanta so I would compare uh, I would rate Sassuolo as a perfectly fine team to play with you can play some nice football uh, you build up the middle you do combinations up the middle they are doing like the slow build up possession type of attacking that allows you to build patiently with uh, quick 1-2s. You can do some L, um, L1 passes, like the give and go passes, and create chances. Uh, that works perfectly with the 4-3-3. I really like the 4-3-3 like in general. It's one of probably the, my favorite f uh, formation to play with. So if you enjoy playing a 4-3-3, you definitely should try this team. 
And yeah, I think probably if I completed one complete season with Sassuolo, I would probably get the title, I think. But I think, uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap up the video. Uh, obviously the season is gonna restart, we're gonna have another go at Division 1, I'm gonna switch to another country. We have tried some Italian teams now, and I don't think there are any more teams to try out that out that are in form this week. So we we will wait with uh, Juventus, Lazio, Inter, and AC Milan. We're gonna wait with those teams until they are in good form. So I think I'm gonna switch probably to the Bundesliga for the next uh, set of gameplay videos. What do you think about the gameplay? Let me know in the comments. And if you've tried Sassuolo. Let me know what kind of tactics you were using. Uh, let me know in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. Until the next one, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you guys, okay?